At since pinag-uusapin natin mga dragon, we just have to check out the biggest versions of these babies. At saan pa ba mahanap yan? Eh di, sa pelikula. That's right, Sam. So here are the dragons through the eyes of a silver screen on Fast Forward. This mythical scaly creature made its debut in Disney's Office Crash, The Reluctant Dragon, released in 1941 during a tumultuous writer's strike. The Disney movie Pete's Dragon, released in 1977, raked Academy, Saturn, and Golden Globe Awards for its animated cutie, Elliot. But for some reason, hindi talaga nag-click sa mainstream ang concept ng fire-breathing friendly creature. The stop animation movie Dragon Slayer in 1981 was a failure at the box office, but it lived on as a cult classic, meaning sa video rental lang siya naging hit. Speaking of cult classics, the cartoon series Dungeons & Dragons airing first in 1983 was a spin-off of the game that showed exactly how mainstream D&D had become. This is hands down the game that made dragons famous. Wala nga lang actual dragons sa game. Napansin mo ba dyan? Dragons are not really a popular theme in movies that make money. Well, there's Reign of Fire from 2002. It had Christian Bale and Matt McConaughey which grossed $82 million on a $60 million budget. Still, pinatay pa rin yung dragon doon. And the dragon brought chaos, not good. But then there was Aragon from 2006. With its mixed reviews and horrible ratings from the critics, it managed to be the highest grossing film with a dragon as a star and the second highest in its genre. Interesting! Dragons may not be a hit and a money maker at the box office, but they sure have their own following. Trolls, giants, dragons, hmm, oh my. What are you babbling about? And well, so of all the creatures we usually read about, dragons seem to capture my imagination the most. Alam mo, tama ka eh. From movies, to books, to toys, dragons are so popular. Hindi lang sa books, pati sa games. You're so right, Sam. So what are the top 5 dragons of electronic gaming? Heto, panoorin nyo! At number 5 is the dragon of the venerable Dragon Slayer video game. Dragon Slayer, released way back in 1983, was one of the first video games that used a dragon as the big bad boss. It came as a phenomenon in the US and later on, it became a cartoon series. While Dragon Slayer didn't become a huge hit here, it still captured the imagination of gamers during its heyday. Number 4 on our list is Spyro, that cute little purple dragon from the PlayStation 1 game. Compared to other dragons, Spyro was small and fast and could do all sorts of crazy things. More than one decade later and a dozen or so titles for almost every game console, Spyro the Dragon continues to captivate gamers with his zany adventures. At number 3 are the dragons of the Warcraft series. First introduced in Warcraft 2, the dragons of Warcraft look like the dragons of Western myths. They fly and breathe fire on hapless victims. We love the Warcraft dragons because they're playable units on the Warcraft real-time strategy game and they were the bosses you'd have to contend with on Worlds of Warcraft. Truly great gaming dragons. At number 2 are dragons of the Final Fantasy games. Just about every other Final Fantasy game has a dragon as an enemy. But on Final Fantasy VII, they introduced Bahamut, the helpful dragon. Bahamut looked like no other dragon, but it captured every Final Fantasy gamer, and Bahamut even appeared as a bad guy in the movie Final Fantasy Advent Children. We still love Bahamut, by the way. At number one, oh, and this one surprised us all. Charizard, that orange dragon with an attitude of the Pokemon series, is considered to be the most recognizable dragons in electronic gaming. Aside from having an incredible hit series, he's appeared in a lot of Pokemon games and ask kids who their favorite dragon is, it's Charizard. Back in the 80s, this commercial about dragons had everybody in stitches. And even 20 years later, laugh trip pa rin to. It's a dragon katol. Dragon katol. Dragon kung umuso. Lamok sigurado tapo. Malamang ang cause of death ay hindi yung usok kundi kakatawa sa commercial na to. Tune in again next week for more hilarious clips on Wacky Wild Web. There are a lot of stereotypes out there and modeling is no different. Well, you can forget what you think you know about our next sizzler. Bianca Paz. Sure, like any good model, she sizzles like hot cocoa. 
a sexy figure and long steamy legs certainly make her easy on the eyes. <laughs> I could stare all day. But that's not all there is to this girl because there's a lot going on up there as well. I think she's a geek herself, being an avid reader. Aside from being a bookworm, she also used to be a huge Sims gamer, playing hours on end. She also likes to watch movies like Mr. and Mrs. Smith. The <laughs> sexy violence? I can be into that. Her friends say she's got a sarcastic sense of humor, and she likes a guy with some wit and personality. A little ambition and sense of adventure does not hurt as well. Oh, she's really into the tall, dark, and shaved head combo. Uh huh, wait, Vidic. While I'm trying to call my soulmate, let's hear what she's got to say. I just want to thank you guys for taking the time. And don't forget to grab a copy of the 2010 Rand Calendar. See you guys soon. We can hardly wait. Bianca Paz, everybody. Congratulations to the winners of Tweets for Treats and our Maybelline promo. And congratulations to Satin for finishing another wicked episode. Dala kayo ng toalya next week ha, for our sports special. And don't forget, you can always catch us online on our website, www.mogtv.com.ph. At para sa mga mahilig mag-tweet dyan, there's www.twitter.com slash mogtv. Au revoir gamers, till the next time, this has been Mog TV. Game, Game over! over.